action. I'm here today with uh, Stephanie Marillo, who is the Administrative Supervisor with the County of San Bernardino Workforce uh, Development Department. And uh, she has a lot of interesting research that she undertakes in her day-to-day -day duties. Thank you for being with us, Stephanie. And uh, if you'd care to share with the students uh, what it is that you do. Awesome. Well, hi, everybody. Um, I, like Colin said, I'm an Administrative Supervisor here with Workforce Development. And um, I am currently in charge of regional efforts between Riverside County and San Bernardino County. Um, and so that entails a lot of partnerships and working together with lots of different government entities, which is always an adventure. But today I'm gonna talk um, a lot about the research that I do and have done for workforce development. Um, and I wanna start by, kind of by talking about the difference between workforce development as a department within the county structure versus other departments. Um, one, of the, one of the intriguing differences I think about workforce development is that we are completely federally funded. So of many, many county departments within San Bernardino County, um, not very many are completely federally funded. Most are generally funded by the general fund and their budgets submitted based on what the county has as a whole uh, has and implements. And we are completely funded by the Workforce Innovation Opportunity, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. Um, and that means our funds come directly from the Fed down through the state, down to us here, um, all the way down here in San Bernardino County. So um, because of that, we have a lot of federal guidance that we have to follow that sort of comes with the funds. Um, workforce development is about connecting job seekers and employers. So we are boots on the ground, directly working with businesses, seeing what it is that they need, and connecting them to job seekers in this region. We have three America's Job Centers spread out throughout the county. There's one in Rancho Cucamonga, there's one in San Bernardino City, and there's one in Victorville. And that's where we help our job seekers. People come in that are unemployed or looking for better career opportunities. They come in, we help them with their resumes, with their interview skills, with um, all kinds of things to help them get skilled up in order to be better potential employees. Some of them are currently working and they're just looking for better, better jobs. Um, a lot of what we do is around vocational training. So our funding allows us to pay for an individual to go to vocational training so that they're more marketable out there in the job field. We also have business services where we directly work with the businesses, like I said a few minutes ago. And we have a business field team that goes out and talks to um, talks to businesses throughout the county. So you can imagine how that kind of goes. Hi, we're the county. We're here to help, right? Um, but once we get in the door, we really offer a lot of free services to business to help them with job fairs and recruitments. We have um, programs that help them subsidize some of the training for uh, new individuals that they hire. Lots of different things. So our role, like I said, is to connect the job seekers and the business and help the economy grow, help industry grow. Um, we focus on the growth industries, which uh, manufacturing is one of them, healthcare, transportation, logistics, global trade, construction, energy. That's where we spend most of our focus time. So in regards to the research, like I said, the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, it was passed in 2014. So what happens is that, that the act gets passed from a federal level, and once that happens, it doesn't just kind of go into play and everybody just follows it. Um, really what happens is that it has to go to a certain department. So for, the, for WIOA, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, it's, um, it goes down to the Department of labor and the Department of Education. And they take a look at the act and they say, okay, how are we going to break it down? What does it mean? They define what the act doesn't say. So you, you'll have what's called um, the final regulations or the federal regulations. So there's the act, which is a go-to source of information. What, what does Congress intend when that act was first developed? And then there's the Code of Federal Regulations, which is the Department of Labor's breakdown of what the law is and what the law intends. 
So as far as research goes, that first place that I go is to the law and then to the federal guidance. Um, and then from there, the federal guidance goes to the state. So earlier I mentioned that the money comes from the feds down to the state and then down to us as a local area. There are 47 local areas that do what we do here in workforce development. So, so when the state gets the money, they get those federal regulations as well, and they can be more prescriptive than the feds. So even the state then decides, here's what rules we're going to put into place for the state and all of the areas within that state that do that work. Then us here at the local area, there is still some guidance and things like that that we have to follow. So we have to follow the, the law, we have to follow the feds, we have to follow the state, um, and then we have to follow local area policy. So in the local area, we are basically governed by the Board of Supervisors, like every county department. Board of Supervisors um, nominates and appoints members to the Workforce Development Board of San Bernardino County. And they're a policy-making entity here in the local area. So lots and lots of different rules from the feds to the state down to the local area. So when researching, um, it's really important to explore every auspice of, of information. Some of the stuff is going to be in the act, some of it's going to be in the federal guidance, some of it's going to be in the local area policy. And because we're down here and we're within a county structure, there are also policies and regulations that we have to follow just because we're a county department. Even, even though we're not generally funded by the county, we still have to follow all of those rules. So, when, when it's time to research and really understand something, maybe it's me helping develop a policy, something that we want to do, a process, a procedure. Um, there's, there's a lot of areas to kind of look at and, and research. And understanding where the law goes and sort of how it trickles down way down here in San Bernardino County makes a difference because it depends on what it is that I'm being asked for. Um, will help me decide what areas of research. The way that the law is written, um, there's a lot to interpretation. So really understanding where it comes from and why it was written that way um, makes a big difference. And sort of when, when we're asked a question, sort of sometimes as the researcher you go in thinking, okay, what is it that we're trying to do? Are we trying to make this happen? Or are we trying not to make this happen? And you sort of, that sort of ends up being the lens by which you're doing that research. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I, I think it's valuable to tell you um, because this is a new law for us. So for, formally we were the Workforce Investment Act and the Workforce Investment Board, and now we're a Workforce Development Board under WIOA, the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. Um, but with that change, it's been really, really interesting. So even though it passed in 2014, we're still under process of transition. So even though it's 2018 and we're four years after the day that it passed, it'll be July when it passed, so four years, um, it takes a while to transition. And then by the time we're all transitioned, it'll be the law will be six years old, and it'll be time to either renew and extend the law, um, or if they decide not to, then uh, I guess they decide not to, and we'll see where we are at that point. But it's been really interesting to be involved in that transition of the new law. Um, after the act is passed, I talked about those final regulations or the federal guidance, federal registration. Um, before that is written, um, it is, uh, they pass it down to us for, for sort of a proposed regulations that we're actually able to comment on, which is really great. And then they can put our comments into the final rule. So even us here in the local area gets a little bit of a chance to help uh, those federal laws be what they are. So. Looks like that's time for me, so thanks for having me. Hopefully you learned something today.